you know, fellas. Here we go. Something all the way from Denmark. Ale Farm. Now, I've had some of these before. Or a couple of them, I'd say. Maybe one or two videos. And this one's their Afterglow Double Indian Pale Ale. The IPA. The Double. It was the only double IPA in the shop, and I sell on all these IPAs. A lot of New Zealand ones, a lot of new ones just come in. And I had a good look, and I was sort of deciding, do I get the, the one for 15, or one for 12, or the two for 20, or two for 25, and, and they're all only IPAs, and I like... Six, six and a half percent. I don't feel like paying that sort of money for a big can, but just an IPA. And I saw these ones. And they're usually $15. So probably a two for 25 thing going on. And, um... They weren't selling very well, so they marked them down to seven bucks. So I just grabbed two. So instead of 25 for two, six percent, six point three, six point five percent. I checked them all out. I've got two eight percenters. You fucking ripper. Look at the head on that. That's just fucking peaky door. Oh, that's what we're talking about. Now it's a. A New England IPA doesn't say, well, double New England double IPA, it doesn't say that on the front, it says it on the back. Cheers guys. That's pretty bloody good. Ale farm, yeah, they make a nice beer. It's funny listening to Danish people speaking. It's quite similar to English. A lot closer to, to English than uh, Dutch. Or German. Or French. Italian. Hmm. They've both got a lot of similar words. Latin and Germanic make up English but there's a few other words in there as well from other language uh, like other languages I guess a few words we use French words you know serviette it's not it's called a napkin in certain places and people say napkin is like sanitary napkin I don't know so I don't mind serviette as a word, better than napkin. Um, yeah, different words. Yeah, Gesundheit, it's not that often used in English. And that's German. A few people I've known have said that through my life. And then you've got other things like... Excuse me. Well, that's English. But then you got French is very similar. Schools and moi. So yeah, look, yeah, there's a lot of similar words out there in a lot of languages. Especially like mum and dad all around the world in Asian languages as well as European and other people's languages. That always spins me out. Yeah. So in Thailand for father is poor. And for mother is man. <laughs> Pretty similar to English, really. It's not too far away. Well, guys, this is a top year. It's a top day here in Melbourne today. It's not too hot. It's the middle of summer. We've got a late summer this year, and it's real mild. Nothing over 40 degrees yet. Usually in the January, early February, you'll get a, you know, like a four or five day thing of 38, 40, 43. 
might get a 46 uh, and then it will drop down again, but not this year. I think we've had a 35. Oh, that's about it. Which felt bloody hot, but it wasn't. No, it was 35 in Chiang Mai when we were there a couple of days. We had a bit of a hot spell come through. No, it was hot. It was bearable next to the pool drinking gin and tonic. Smoking a couple of gaggers, as you would. Especially in Thailand, with their new rules that are all over the fucking shop, you wouldn't know what to do. Except for spin one up, as you do. Alright guys, the afterglow, I'll probably get an afterglow. I hope I don't look like this fella. He looks a bit, well is it the clouds? Or does it look like um, an entity in the clouds? Now when it's equal like that, is it? half a picture and then yeah they fold the paper and then you get both oh, one of those artist things good art though good looking can well done guys Denmark well English are a lot closer to them than a lot of other people even though they got Roman blood and Celtic and a bit of this that and the other a bit of Viking Mixed bag. These days is a huge mixed bag. And I think the cultures around the world have got it all wrong a little bit. Like, nothing better than going to another country and it's a totally different culture. Like, it's great for the senses, the, the brain, the soul. You just immerse yourself. What about if you go around the world and it's all this one globalist, soulless culture? That they're trying to push on us. All eating grasshoppers and bugs and worms and then nothing will grow because we've eaten all the insects. And they want us to eat, you know, GMO. You know, so you've got to buy the seeds and next year you've got to buy them again because they don't make their own seeds. So it's become a joke. <sighs> the murder is against the people. I don't know, what the fuck's going on? Big bullshit, COVID bullshit, the whole bullshit. The war in Ukraine, what a lot of crap. You know? I think Bill Gates even said Ukraine's the most corrupt country in the world. I don't think he said yesterday that the vaccine, you know, was no good. Only lasted a couple of months, he reckons. So it didn't last long, didn't really protect you. And yeah, he said three negative things about something that he was making billions of dollars out of. Oh, but the new ones are all right, they're better. But you only get two months, you reckon. So you're going to have to have a new shot every two months if you just wear the immune system out, for fuck's sake. Fill it up with vaccines, that's got to be good for you. A bit more than most people. Just had a dip in the sand the last couple, or three or four, or how many you're supposed to have, because I'm pretty old, I've done everything. I don't go out much. I live here on the property with my kookaburras. You know what I mean? I'm pretty settled. I don't give a fuck, really, if I don't go anywhere anymore. I was wrapped to go to Thailand again, though. Alive again. You're kidding. I was in my element. I had a great time over there. Went to some really good restaurants and bars, beaches, of course, and catching a few waves. They weren't very big this time. They're not usually this time of the year. If you want to catch waves in Phuket, it's better around July. Yeah, much bigger waves. Anyway. Rambling again, the afterglow, it's got me already. I only had one beer before this. This is kicking in. It's a Luplon effect, I reckon. I had shitloads the other day. I can't believe I had like 10 IPAs. Excuse me. And I got up in the morning and I felt like nothing. Like 
No hangover at all. I just noticed we've got apples down on the apple tree. I'm pretty wrapped, actually. I've just got to get them before the kangaroos eat them. I love eating them. You all kidding. They come out, they're just chewing them up. Oh, well, guys. i crack another one of those beers. I feel like I've had six beers. That's what I feel like. You know when you whoop down six beers driving home from work? Back in the 80s, but that's what happened. You knocked off work, grabbed a six pack on the way home and knocked them down if you're driving from Kilmore to home. So it's like an hour, hour and 20. There's a lot of traffic, you know, but, um, you know, you knock your half a dozen down. Yeah, that used to be a thing, guys. It's not a thing anymore. <laughs> yeah, there's a nice beer, guys. It's um, 440 mil. So it's a 2.8. I've had 2.8 standard drinks in that video. And I've been rambling a bit lately. I don't know what's going on. Might be the end of the road for a few of us. We've just got to have our last hurrah. Kidding me. My last hurrah is going six fucking seven years now. You're kidding me. I just won't die. Sometimes you just don't want to wake up. You go to bed going fucking miserable, my back's hurting, knees give me fucking heaps of trouble. You know, you got a couple of other problems going on, you got no money. You go, fuck, I don't really want to wake up in the morning. You wake up in the morning and you forgot about all that shit. And you soldier on. It's weird like that. And then you get up some days and you're going to catch up with a mate and you're just full of energy. The missus says something, you don't even bite. You don't say nothing. Don't spoil the day. You start off real nice. Help everyone. Get to your mate's place. And he's not there. He's got water skiing. <laughs> You're fucking kid. Shit like that happens sometimes. They have a smoke over in the park and uh, come back home. You're fucking kid. Anyway, life's full of fucking twists and turns. Don't get too serious. Make it, make it fun, whatever you're doing. Working, you know, catching up with your in laws. You know, just make it fun, for fuck's sake. Get them thinking. Be funny, in a weird way, you know, get everyone, whoa, what the fuck's going on, this cunt's fucking a bit weird, are you kidding? <laughs> get them thinking, for fuck's sake, they're bored shitless, they need to start thinking, and then they'll come alive again, bring them alive, bit of a fucking challenge, some of the untamable. you're fucking kidding. Anyway, I'm going to go get another one of these beers, I'm going to be fucking tripping. City, I reckon. It's kicked in a ripper. So look it up for this one, guys. Go on by this, you can hardly see it. And so I'm doing a stupid thing, really, and it? Shooting into the sun. So that's what it looks like. There's me. You're fucking kidding. One of my incarnations about fucking 50 billion years ago when I was a demon, and I eventually I'll. Become a Buddha one day. Fucking kid me. Alright guys, so tomorrow we're gonna hit the whipper snipper down here. Lower and I and get me mate over. Cook him a nice lunch, a few beers, have a chuff, fucking happy days. We'll clean that fucking up a beauty down there and we'll put a new door in the bathroom. Lift another door up, or they've got to smash the. Oh, I think the. Uh, I don't know what it is. Something's a bit fucked on the door. It's hitting the ground. Anyway, that's life in the eastern suburbs of Victoria or Melbourne. Happy days. Look at that. Beautiful banana. It's the worst tasting bananas I've ever had in my life.